my name is Becca. Thanks for joining me today. I haven't filmed a video in quite a long time. Not a long time. It's been like two weeks and no one's actually noticed other than me. So I think that's okay. That's fine. Like I can slack now when absolutely no one watches my videos. But I've been a little busy. Um, I have recently done a very exciting thing. Uh, my boyfriend and I actually adopted a rescue dog last week, two weeks ago, uh, two Mondays ago. And we have been going through the adjustment period of acclimating him to our apartment and our lifestyle, getting to know him, getting to know us. And it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. So that is why I have been gone. Not that it matters, because again, not that anyone cares, but um, I wanted to do something fun today to introduce my baby boy to this channel. So let's meet him. Aww. Hello. This is Brody. He's eight years old. And he's very, very sweet. Aww. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna make little baby B a sweater. We're gonna make a little fall sweater. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to go on a field trip. We're gonna go to Joanne's as usual. We're gonna pick up some fabric and some Velcro and some bias tape. And Brody's gonna come with us. We gotta get him used to going in the car. So he's gonna come on this little field trip with us. And then we're gonna come back and make him a little fall sweater, just in time. Let's go. Make sure on a hot day like today, you guys are winding down your windows if you're leaving your car. Because if you've got a dog in the car, he's gonna overheat real quick. And I got my motherfucking dog in here, he's waiting. All right, we are all done. And I'm gonna show you what we got. So for the fabric, I got this very soft flannel plaid, black and white. It's like a quilting fabric. I got only a yard. It comes pre-lined. It has the quilt lining inside of it already, so this fuzzy stuff. And on the inside, it's this gray, so I might make it reversible. I'm gonna see if I can try. So like one side can be gray and one side can be this plaid. And let me see what I can do about that. Um, we'll have to finagle our way around some patterns. I also got some Velcro and it's just a standard sew on. Um, I don't like the iron on because they do come off if heat is applied to it. And if he's gonna be wearing it and laying on it, I'm afraid the adhesive might peel off, so I just got the sew on kind. And then I got bias tape. Now this will be my first time really using bias tape as like a decorative thing, other than just like hemming a collar or like finishing off an edge. I'm gonna use this more of like a decorative lining on the outside along of course with the use of bias tape. This is two and a half yards, I hope it's enough. We'll just have to see. If not, then I might not use this at all. But we'll see. That's all I got, a super quick trip. I have everything else. I have the thread and all of the other things that I need in my apartment. So let's make a pattern. All right, you're gonna start by taking a couple measurements of your dog. You're gonna need to know your neck size, your body size, your body length, and then your sweater length. 
Write these down. You're gonna need them. You're gonna start by making a large rectangle. It's going to be your body length by your sweater length. You're gonna make a smaller rectangle for the chest strap, which is going to be half of your neck size by however thick you want it to be. I chose five inches. And then you're gonna make the underbody strap, which is going to be your sweater length by again, however thick you want it to be. Again, I chose five inches. Once you have this drawn out on your fabric, cut it out and round it in corners that you want. I only rounded the chest strap corners just so it made a little nicer of a look. And now we're gonna do the bias tape. Bias tape is fantastic. It's a already pre-cut piece of fabric. I chose a one inch thick strip and they are pre-pressed a one eighth of an inch in on both edges so you don't have to do it yourself. And to apply bias tape to your piece, you flatten out one of the edges, do a straight stitch all the way down connecting the edges of your fabric and the bias tape. Once you do the first side, you're going to flip the bias tape in half, making sure the other eighth of an inch side is folded under. You're gonna lay it down matching the edges on the other side of the fabric. And again, doing a straight stitch all the way down, you're going to secure that side. And this is what it should look like all finished. A nice decorative edge, but at the same time, it finishes off any of the raw edges of your fabric. Now for the Velcro. Make sure that you try on the sweater before you attach the Velcro, just to make sure that you know exactly where the flaps meet up for the chest and the underbody strap. Once you do that, just mark where the Velcro is going to be and do a straight stitch box all the way around the Velcro, securing it to the fabric. And like I said earlier, if you don't like the look of the straight stitch box showing on your fabric, you could always get the iron on or stick on Velcro. But like I said, I wanted it to be a little more secure, so I don't mind the boxes, even though it does show on the gray reversible side. like your sweater. Oh, thank you. He likes it a lot. We just took it for a little test run outside. Today it just reached mid to low 40, so it was definitely a little more necessary today. And he likes it, he finds it very comfy. So I guess if you try it, I'm assuming all little dogs will love this. Big dogs, little dogs. Um, it was super easy to make. Um, you can get as fancy or as non-fancy as you can. This one, I definitely liked the binding and it did make it reversible. So if I wanted to just use the gray side, I can do that. So I have a little two for one doggy sweater. Uh, yeah, but this is Brody. I wanted you to meet him. I wanted to do something fun for this video that includes him. You'll be seeing him a lot on this channel, whether it be making more little sweaters for him or him just being out and about. But thank you so much for watching. Say bye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.